Yo, what's funny is it's actually really baking today, hot, and uh, it makes me happy. Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Liam, and I'm just here to talk about skateboarding and mental health. We're here at UBC, a school, a campus, um, which is kind of ironic because a lot of stress and pressure gets put on people when they go to university. And uh, this is a great place to talk about mental health. And also, there's a facility here to like get better and release and find meaning in community when you're struggling. I want to talk about five things, and that's outlet, community, purpose, skill building, and then failure. I'm going to share some of my personal experiences and why skateboarding helps others. This is mental health and skateboarding. Let's dive into it. Let's get some warm-up tricks at the park. It's going to be quick. And then we're going to go skate street. I am a skateboarder and I'm sitting on wax. The first reason is it's a perfect outlet. It's the best outlet to get out negative feelings, aggressions, stress. Any emotion that has nowhere to go but needs to go somewhere, skateboarding is the best way to get it out. And it also helps you get your mind out of the way because you're so focused on developing the skills to be more competent that it takes you out of yourself for a moment. It's a place to go when you feel like you can't go anywhere else. You can practice skateboarding. You can be someplace that's not in your usual surroundings. There's people available. There's more challenges to try, um, more creativity. It's a place to get out of your head. In my experience, what helped me immensely, when I moved across Canada, I felt feelings of loneliness. Um, I was abandoning all that I knew, my friends and family and it created a sense of like of a void in me. One thing I was excited to do was go to the park. I was excited to show up at the park, see my friends, and see it was always unpredictable who was going to be there. Um, everyone was encouraging and supportive, so that was exciting. I felt like I belonged, even though I was a stranger in the grand scheme of things, because I only knew these friends for a few weeks at this moment. Having that skate park available and all the different varieties and options, the features to challenge myself, gave me that outlet and it, it, it gave me a place to get outside of my head. We, ha we got more reasons, so let's move on. Community. That's reason number two. So usually there's a bunch of people sitting here or skating and it's just easy conversation, easy support. You want to learn a trick, someone's going to talk to you, maybe support you, give you some tips. You just feel included. The fact that you skateboard, you already belong to the community. Even if you're not that good, you still have a place and space and you're welcome. So generally when you come to the park and you have like a friend group, for example, they're going to support you. They think highly of you. They want you to do cool tricks. They want to see you win. And uh, skateboarding is just non-stop support in my opinion. Of course, there's super jokes. There's a lot of crit criticism. There's a lot of judgment. There's a lot of fashionable questionability and mongo pushing that will get you some criticism it's just it's just for fun it's usually on a friendly basis and because they're not your immediate family or friends you can more openly vent you can more easily be vulnerable around these people these acquaintances at the skate park you don't feel like they're gonna take it personally or you're gonna take it personally they support you because of how you show up and that you skateboard that's enough to welcome you in so in my opinion the skate park's a good place to chat make jokes and feel included ultimately You're, you just want to feel a sense of belonging there's a community that's always going to be there there's no rules or certain times to be there you can just show up and feel supported and it can change the entirety of your day you can go from a super bad mood to like a disciplined motivated and friendly environment people who are encouraging you and you can walk away with a way better head on your shoulders and way more self-respect and feel more grounded in your direction. There's other activities you can feel a greater sense of community with, but skateboarding isn't limited to a schedule. Community, that's reason number two. I got three more to discuss, so we're gonna go hit the street now. Forget about the park, hope you liked it. All right, we're leaving the skate park. We're gonna go explore and find new spots. I'm gonna continue my discussion. Let's go find a flat bar. For some reason, this, this rail is always super waxed. I love it. I feel like everyone who skates by this is like shook. They're like, whoa, 
a perfect flat bar in the streets. That never happens. It's impossible. Purpose. Skateboarding brings you purpose, which is a key pillar in mental well-being and health, belonging, a sense of groundedness. It anchors you and your self-esteem in place because you start to define yourself around this tool, this, this skateboard that you're able to manipulate and you stick out for because you're capable of doing this thing that many people cannot. They're, it's rare. It's a difficult act. And the fact that you can do it makes you special and makes you respect yourself more. It increases your self-esteem, which is invaluable because that helps you anchor yourself in this world amongst all that's going on. And because you skateboard, people recognize you for that because it's a daring thing. And so that's just a self-esteem booster. You're more easily recognized. It's a difficult skill, a unique one. The main thing with purpose and skateboarding is it anchors you in yourself. It allows you to focus on progression and showing up with the community that you belong to, the community that accepts you, the community that wants to see you learn more tricks and progress. Skateboarding is a grounding tool. That's why this category is called purpose. It can frustrate you like crazy. It can make you feel like an imposter, incapable, or a failure. But when you land that trick, it doesn't matter anymore because it just increased your purpose and well-being. You have gratitude for what you've just done, what you've shown yourself, you're capable of doing. The fourth reason is skill building. We're gonna go find some mellow ledges and talk about that. I'm gonna post up here, get clips on these little ledges. They're real concrete, so that's enjoyable. Get a couple clips and let's discuss a few more things. All right, this is my fourth reason for why skateboarding is great for your mental health, and that's because it's a skill building activity. There's so much repetition and so much margin for growth and learning, it just never stops. There's too much to learn, there's too many disciplines of skateboarding to practice, and you can't master this thing. There's just way too much to learn. Um, you can be very competent and consistent, but you can't be the master. You can't be the perfectionist or the the, the champion of skateboarding. Even Nigel Houston has aspects of skateboarding that are weaknesses, and he's more strong and consistent at other things. He'll claim it. The reason I think skill building is important is because it builds strong character when you're constantly working towards growing and learning and finding creative ways to up yourself. It's a challenging activity, so it keeps you more focused and sharp and increases your self-esteem when you're accomplishing certain tricks which is reason for patience. You need good patience so you don't freak out and, and spaz and create a rage, which is also a good thing in a sense because sometimes you need to let that energy out and skateboarding is a great way to do that. Because if you didn't have the skateboard, you might just be looked at as a bit, bit, in, a bit different, a bit insane. You're constantly facing your fears to get to that trick. And also the same discipline we have and face in skateboarding and build with skateboarding is also how we can progress to other activities or apply ourselves to other skills with that same degree of intensity and that's invaluable um, and it just creates stronger character and more belief in ourselves which improves your mental health dramatically it just provides more self-respect and trust and that you can't build as easily in other avenues.
pause, breathe, before I rage and break my board because it's usually a trick that comes pretty easy, but because I have to wax the ledge, which is high maintenance labor, which I don't want to do, I'm just getting frustrated because I'm neglecting wax. But uh, I landed it just before I just almost broke my board, which is good timing because I want to talk about failure right now. But I'm going to save my board and move to the spot that has a higher, more advanced ledge, do more advanced tricks to finalize this video and talk about failure. Why failure is actually an important trait and it builds mental health and well-being because then you have more margin for failure and learning and improving. I want to say one thing though, this isn't as real as it could get. This mental health and skateboarding video could get a lot more real and vulnerable, but I'm having it on like a surface level five traits. If you want to see a more in-depth version of this video, just comment below. Um, let me know if you're all right, if you're, if you've, if you, this video has helped you, or if you're struggling and you actually are just glad to watch this video to distract yourself from that void and that immense pain that you're feeling. Let's talk about failure over at the spot. <laughs> I'm done here. Done. Finished. Great size ledge. I feel like this ledge is literally the definition of a ledge. It's just a giant block with wax and crust. Third spot, let's talk about failure and then fail to get tricks. I do want to step up the game a little bit, do a couple more harder variations. Nothing too crazy, but still, I'm gonna to have to work for it. It's gonna be even more difficult because my board is just chewed up now. Part of the frustration of skating at UBC today was my board just being a little bit worked. I like to skate my boards until they're like pretty much done and then I switch it. So I get like a headache at the tail end of my sessions with my used skateboards. Once again, um, my butt is on the wax, which is not okay for skateboarders. To intentionally sit on wax is just like, we're beyond that. We, we, we have more wisdom than to, better than to sit on the wax. This is the final reason, it's failure. Skateboarders learn to accept failure really early on. We fling ourselves at all sorts of obstacles, stairs, rails, ledges, the floor, seeking to improve and become more competent at skateboarding. And it takes a lot of failure, a lot of repetition, a lot of headache and frustration and rage. We cannot accept failing because we must accomplish the trick, even if it takes days or months. So the ability to persevere and also, kind of in a joking way, we work through failure because it's so repetitious and so much of a headache and an annoyance to us that we are full-blown, like, it's, it's, it just ends up being comedy value to us in like a, the weirdest way. We become like, we laugh while we rage. It's a weird, it's a weird fusion. Tenacity is the word. We always push forward on a skateboard. That's my video in a nutshell. That's five reasons why skateboarding breeds mental well-being. So thanks for watching and yeah, I appreciate it. Guys, subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna keep putting out discussion videos. Comment below if you wanna see a more vulnerable mental health video. This is kind of surface level because I frankly didn't put too much thought into it. I had a couple of reasons and I wanted to talk about it. This is more character building, more opposed to mental health, but I think these still help us keep pushing through all the obstacles we face, those traits keep us moving forward. So take care of yourself, show up for yourself, trust yourself. You got this and you deserve this and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.